went to see Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Sometimes you know when and I'm in like you know life. Life usually I'm like da da. Yeah yeah yeah. And then sometimes like oh. Like and then you win. And you get home. Put the keys in the house. That's amazing. Hey, Hi. hey, Gabriel. Hey, everybody. Dude, to I just podcast. I just came back from the gym. Yeah, yeah, me too. I feel so calm. Yeah, dude, man. I, uh, mm. yeah, it's uh, like I wish I can go first thing in the morning, but I'm always so lazy to go. You gotta first. push yourself, bro. But then I end up going in the afternoon. Ooh, get hard. Oh my god, I'm so t- like I get so tired after the gym. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I get like. Like, I'm all like, oh, my body, oh, and then I'm, like, dragging myself home. I'm well, like, oh, God. Probably it's because your, I don't know, your gluco or whatever index goes down, so you should eat, like, an apple. Get the I know, sugar I back should. Up, and Maybe then you'll be fine. I'm having orange crush now. Well, I had gnocchi. <laughs> I had gnocchi and tomato juice. Gnocchi? What's gnocchi again? Not oh, yeah, t- it's like a t- pasta? No- yeah, gnocchi and uh, tomato. I think that's the worst thing you can eat, just a big bowl of flour. <laughs> I think it's, it? po- it's potato, I think. Potato, yeah, it's just, isn't it too... <laughs> Just a don't know. sack of potatoes in your tummy? I don't know. What do normal people eat? I, I, people, uh, I, you're I, asking I like me what normal people <laughs> yeah. eat? I live it's on pr- supplements <laughs> and eggs, bro. And, it's and, a pretty and normal garbage, thing to eat. <laughs> garbage food. No, but in a sense, after the gym, I would I would suppose that you want to get your sugars back up a little bit because you burn a lot I'd of sugar. Su- I had supper. I'm so going to eat a candy bar after no, for supper. if you go in the morning and you feel... Oh, yeah, tired. no, but I had it... Uh, I went to the gym not in the morning. Dude, I saw the funniest thing at the gym. You know... There's always something that surprises me at the gym. So I see, I walk in, I just finished uh, working out, and I see two guys, and they're all like both Spanish. Okay. And one of them is like really short, and one of them is taller than him. Yeah, and yeah. Talking, you know, can you can you make a Spanish accent? Like, hey, hello, it's me, yes. <laughs> I'm very happy, you know, and, and then today I'm going to work out my triceps, and, and after. Wow. But here's the thing so they're talking and they're changing. Do you think they sound weird in their own country too? No. So everyone in that country just sounds fucking like weird. When they speak English or French? Oh. <laughs> Well, when they speak like Spanish, they're like, well, buenos dias. I'm not <laughs> oh, yeah. sure. So in English, they talk like this. Yeah. <laughs> buenos dias. They all become Zorro the yeah. second they sit there. They're all like sexy Latin men. Oh. So anyways, they're talking and I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in their vicinity and uh, they, you know, they start changing because they want to go work out. But in the middle of changing, it's so funny. Like the guy is talking to the other guy. So he unbuckled his pants and he dropped his pants mm-hmm. and then he kept talking. Mm-hmm. Like the whole conversation, like naked. for two minutes, not naked, just with his pants down to his ankles. Oh so yeah, yeah, yeah. You could see his boxers, <laughs> and he's just talking with the other guy, with his pants to his ankle. Well, I wonder why. And I'm watching, like, bro, take off your fucking pants. Yeah, yeah, no, it, that's on. Unne- you don't need. No, I, I don't like that. Maybe they're f- like close. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're close. I don't Maybe know, but friends. even close. I mean. Because the guy was like walking a little. So he was walking with waddling. his pants down. Were they waddling. tight pants? Spanish guys like tight <laughs> pants. <laughs> no, they didn't hit he me maybe, as tight pants. Maybe he was convincing his friend to help him take off the pants. <laughs> He's like, listen, I need you to pull really far. Nino, Nino, take off my panties, <laughs> Nino. I need to take off my cowboy boots. Anyways, so it was just, I was just staring at them. Like, how long is this going to last? Yeah. With your pants down, carrying a full conversation. Take off your fucking pants. They're probably like, the image is funny. I don't know like, if it comes out as funny. <laughs> they're waiting to th- like they're waiting for you to leave to take <laughs> off this pants. Why? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is it's, looking. It's, it was a changing room. I wasn't, you know, next to the uh, curls, or yeah. whatever they're called. There, <laughs> there was this. Uh, I, I used to work with this like Mexican guy <laughs> at this bar, and I didn't realize I was being really rude. But every because he he uh, had the most. He was from Mexico, so he had like a hard time speaking English. Mm-hmm. And anytime. I would always like say fucking stupid shit around him, and every time he'd be like, "Really?" <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing, so I kept on just going, "Really?" Like around <laughs> him, and then he never laughed, but everyone else was laughing. Oh, that hurts. And I didn't realize, like I thought, I, only that till hurts. recently, I was, I was like, I'm being, I was being rude to this guy. You're being mean because really is a very child. Yeah. Like behavior. Yeah. So he was being very vulnerable. Next yeah. Because someone did that to me once. I said, "Really?" And the guy started mocking me, like, "Ha really? Really?" That's yeah. The child in you goes, "Really?" Yeah, yeah, Barack yeah. Obama does he go, "Really?" Like you know what I mean? <laughs> I know. But the way he would say it was, really? I'm not like laughing that he was naive. I'm laughing at the, you're a son of a the, the the words, like the way he said it really? was very funny. Yeah. Really? Really? <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and then I saw him. I saw him like. Like after I, I left that bar, right? And then I said something and he went, Really? 
<laughs> like years later, I'm like, you're still fucking saying really? <laughs> you're still saying really in my head? It's good. You didn't you didn't kill his uh, innocence. He kept uh, really. It, it became he, he makes t-shirt now that says really yeah, really question mark <laughs> really <laughs> upside down question mark because it's Spanish. <laughs> well actually yeah, yeah two yeah, two sides of question mark <laughs> really? <laughs> with a with a with, with a bottle of tequila with a worm in it <laughs> <laughs> okay all right that's nice yeah. oh. <laughs> well we should t- should we tell the people now we should tell the yeah, people yeah we did a really good live podcast oh my god you guys missed it. if you didn't come to giggle fest this year you guys missed on an amazing festival yeah. it was so nice it was really pretty man i did such cool shows and yeah. my favorite thing and i guess your favorite thing as well yeah yeah, yeah we did a live podcast it was, it was so fun oh my god it it was, every podcast should be live podcast i want to do this it awakens all you. i want to do it awaken a demon in me yeah yeah okay like i want to do a li- like i just want this podcast to be live i want to just tour the world yeah doing live podcasts yeah and uh, with eating john <laughs> with john <laughs> and eating uh, delicious pastry from cafe evie <laughs> yeah, yeah Dude, how good were really those nice. pastries yeah, man i ordered more i'm going to see my family on thursday I'm oh like, hey, cook some uh nice cook, give, give me a little uh, box of whatever cool what are you doing you seeing your family yeah For, uh, why you never see your family <laughs> it's it's you know in the evening i'll go funeral see or no? something oh god i hope not <laughs> Let's don't go. be there or bad news that's uh, the only I way know, so i haven't seen my mom and dad in some time you know wow. so i'm like uh I just imagine you coming home, your mom is like in the kitchen cooking, all stressed, and your dad just reading a newspaper and ignoring everybody. <laughs> That's how I picture your family. It, uh, the, 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 the sentiments are, are real. In and the then, sense that mom is cooking and dad is ignoring, but my dad's not reading. He's probably listening to like uh, Lebanese Muslim news. <laughs> his head, he just wears headphones? And he's like watching uh, his iPad. Oh, with, what like, the? Thick old man glasses. He's like, watching the news on his iPad? Dude, this is a. It's progressive dad right there, man. <laughs> I guess his eyes are not good enough for the newspapers. So okay, moved, okay, shit. To, uh, it's true, probably hard to get a Lebanese newspaper in, <laughs> in the Nuns Island or whatever. <laughs> yeah, they're good. I can't wait to see. I talk to. I try to talk to them once a week. Yeah, you know they know I work hard, so mm-hmm. they don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Mm. Plus, you know, Ramadan is coming to an end, dude. It's crazy. This month. Has been very good for Abrahamic religions. I don't know if Abrahamic you Abrahamic religions. Abrahamic religions are the big threes. Okay. Judaism, Islam, Christianity. Okay. This month has good. been amazing for them. What do you? But what do you talk like in like, gen- like the, the Jews celebrated Passover. Okay. The Muslims are celebrating Ramadan, oh. and the Christians celebrated Easter, and the Dalai Lama uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was caught trying to ask a boy yeah. to suck his tongue. This has been an amazing time for Abrahamic yeah. religions. Dude, I love that. Like. This that headline is yeah. like a come town joke. Like, what if the Dalai Lama was whatever? Like, or it's crazy. <laughs> it's so good, dude. You don't understand. Listen, I I went through a phase where I was like looking for the truth, and I'm like, oh, what is this? You know, I don't know if you ever had that. Like, what is uh, the truth? Like, what is the purpose of life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when I was younger, like I looked into Islam and I looked into Judaism and I looked into Christianity. I'm like, what is? Mm-hmm. What am I supposed to do? What is this? No one raised me. <laughs> what am yeah, I supposed yeah, to do? Yeah, yeah. And I found that the, the Buddhism was like, oh, it's a very intelligent, mm. smart philosophy the Buddhism. based Buddha. on kindness yeah. and, uh, you know, uh, life. Grasshoppers. You know, exactly. You, sh- you can't kill grasshoppers. A worm may be a man and a man Plus may be a head, lion. Exactly. Plus, in my mind, uh, Buddhism is associated with Brad Pitt because he did seven years in Tibet. So I have... Uh, is that a good movie? It's a great... Well, it's really? a great movie if you like staring at Brad Pitt, okay. which I do. I always, see, I always see the cover. The cover's him with like... Just he's wearing like a gorgeous, hijab or something, and he's like, "Beautiful, Arabian nights." <laughs> and it's him in like you know in the desert when it's like sundown yeah. and it's not night yet, but the sky is like dark blue. Yeah, and it's like that. That yeah, I picture. Much. I picture that. Yeah, it's dreamy. He's dreamy. Yeah. It's like a dream. It's like a mirage. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so it's everything good associated about uh, <laughs> about Buddhism. They all go together. Plus, you have the face of yeah. Brad Pitt. And I always like, oh, I like the idea of you know, like um, apparently the Dalai Lama, he's he's a known prankster. So he like he'll spit the truth, but then he'll pull a prank. Oh, really? He's a huge prankster. That's uh, oh, apparently because that. you know he never got laid, so he's like, I'm just gonna <laughs> pull pranks all my life. <laughs> he never got laid. You know, that's so what he, he does. Pr- <laughs> yeah, he just pulled pranks on people. And then I saw this. What's one of his pranks? I don't know. Pull my finger. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> really? He, just, he likes to pull pranks on people. Okay. You know, okay. That's, uh, he likes to pull pranks. He, like, he, he likes to show that being an enlightened <laughs> being it does not yeah. mean that you're like, oh, yeah. like, yeah, like I'm the Dalai Lama and this is jackass. And he's like, <laughs> and he's like f- blowing up a ball rocket <laughs> with Mad Margera or whatever. <laughs> Steve-O. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's boxing that fat guy. Yeah, <laughs> Butterbean. <laughs> the Butterbean just beating up the Dalai Lama. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's so anyway, so yeah. it's just the, the Dalai Lama. Like, oh man, he's like the last good person. Yeah. The last you know, he likes to say funny things. He's traveled away. I never met him. You know, I know a couple of people who met him and they say like, oh, he has a. Oh, really? He has like, he has a presence, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I love the fact that we, he was never serious. That's yeah. what I liked about him, you know. Like you look at the, the Pope, and he's like a serious man, serious guy. Have you know, seen the Pope movie though? The Pope movie? No. The, there's like two, there's you know remember I like watch porn, bro. <laughs> I made it clear, <laughs> bro. Okay, okay. okay. bro. Uh, there's a movie about how the new Pope became the Pope because okay. remember the old Pope was like a Nazi yeah, and all yeah. that shit. And they're like, yeah, you're fired from <laughs> yeah, you're fired. From yeah. it's a divine firing. Here's yeah. your four percent. Go live in a castle. We'll never talk about you. There's ever like again. a nice movie where yeah. like they explained like one Pope was like he became the Pope and he was like wanted to be a good Pope and then he was like got tired and wanted to like I don't know play Nintendo I guess and then he's he was friends with the the Pope that's now Pope. Yeah. And he was like, I want to help children. And they're like, he basically like gave his blessing. I understand that thing you said. Maybe no? I don't know if it's me <laughs> or it's your explanation, but say that again. So okay, like, so one pope didn't want to be Nazi the pope. Nazi pope and then uh, cool pope. And they were like buddies. They're buddies. They or like Before he, they became pope? He, he, Pre-pope? The, the, the good pope, the shit pope invited shit pope. the new the pope that was to be the pope. Okay. They, for like, it was like a fucking... A uh, slumber party or something. They were like hanging out for a few days, yeah. and the Pope lived in this big castle. And they were like, the, they hung out, and they. It was like a really boring friendship. It was like a boring movie, but it won all this, this, these awards. Anyway, yeah. like the Pope gave it up because he saw the new Pope was a nice guy. That's all propaganda. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I, I didn't you know finish why the they movie because apparently he, he was aware that there was like a bunch of priests that were like molesting and fucking ch- children. In South America. And that's why he and, quit? And that's why they're like, we cannot have this. Because apparently he was aware of that. and he kept Oh, he was them. aware. Yeah, he was moving them around. Yeah, and shit. Then they're like, Maybe that was the end of the movie. Oh, I, di- I didn't watch it. Like, oh, I, I, I mean, I watched it. I didn't want. I think Claire watched it. <laughs> and I heard her react to it. In a, I don't know how. In her, in her own podcast or something. I was like, listen, I don't know how I watched this movie. Do I not make sense right now? I feel like I don't make any sense. <laughs> I'm trying to make sense. <laughs> and that's my fault. I don't know. That's my fault. I'm trying to make I'm sense. I'm not really sure what I'm saying. But so uh, anyways, yeah. so anyway, the Dalai Lama, he was always like a like okay, a virtuous wise man that like life is not serious, just be kind to others, blah blah blah. Why is he called the Dalai Lama? Because you become the Dalai Lama. He has a name like uh, Jonathan oh. Borello or whatever, and then he becomes that he was like, okay, you now are the Dalai Lama. He has a name. He has a, like when uh. he was born. Apparently, I don't know how they choose the next uh, Dalai yeah. Lama. Oh. Like a baby is born. Yeah. And then he becomes the enlightened one. In uh, King of the Hill, Bobby. You watch King of the Hill? Sometimes, yeah. So Bobby, the, the Dalai Lama came to like Texas or yeah. whatever. And then they met like the fe- – like there's they live next to Chinese people, right? Or, yeah. or, or Asian people. Yeah. And then the Dalai Lama came to their house and Bobby was there. And Bobby was a very goofy kid, right? And then the Dalai Lama was like, you – or the Dalai Lama. Really? And then the Chinese family was all jealous because they wanted like their Chinese daughter to be the, or something like that. It was. Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> pretty sure the Laotian. But, uh, Laotian, yeah. They, uh, if I remember the the crayon used to color their skin. It was like really brown. dark. Yeah. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, oh, these yeah, are yeah. like, uh, you know. Laos. L- l- dark, Dude, dark Asians. That, that, the funniest joke in The King of the Hill is like in the first episode where Khan, the, 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 the late little ocean guy. Like, uh, so Hank was like, so what are you, Ch- are you Chinese or are you Japanese? And he's like, I'm like ocean. And like, and Bill's like, the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> the ocean? <laughs> and then Hank's like, so are you Chinese or are you Japanese? <laughs> stupid. Oh, amazing, man. Uh, let's go back to the... <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, though. I enjoyed this. So much. So, anyways, so I'm, I've always considered that guy to be like, okay, you know, he's what we all should strive for. And it's so funny because I saw the video, and basically, some people say Chinese propaganda, by the way, saying like it's not really exactly what happened. It's, it's like AI generated, or because the Chinese don't like him, they want to install. They don't their, like him. No, they want to install their own because they want to. They, they say that uh, Tibet. Lotion? They say Tibet is part of China, 
And they oh, say, he's no, from no. Tibet. Yeah, of course. And they and uh, and uh, he says no, Tibet is, a, is its own oh. country. And China's like no way. So like you know what? So you know, what's funny is that a couple of years ago they said, oh, we have a new Dalai Lama. They and have their like, own. And they're like, hi. He's like, hi, I'm Dalai Lama. He's like, no, you're not what? Dalai Lama. They chose their own. <laughs> Apparently, you have to choose. Anyways, he's like a hot young teen. So apparently, hey man. <laughs> He's a, like, Everyone's <laughs> like, yeah, Dalai Lama. They all love him. He's a South Korean pop yeah, star. Yeah, pop's K-pop star. He's like, what was it? Uh, okay, what it behind BTS? Yeah, BTS. <laughs> He's a yeah. member of BTS. <laughs> He's hot. Oh, girl, girl, ching kong bao. <laughs> okay, man, this sounds just racist. <laughs> anyways, so anyways, China wants to take Tibet, and uh, Tibet said, no, we are an independent country, blah, blah, blah. So China doesn't like uh, the Dalai Lama. And uh, so anyways, so I'm watching this, and it's funny, like, the feelings you go through when you because i see the headline i'm like there's no way the yeah. dalai lama just asked a little boy to suck on his tongue yeah and then you watch the video and the dalai lama is like <laughs> yeah and i'm like oh come on man did like, they did so he suck his tongue i don't i didn't watch it till the okay. end <laughs> i didn't i came before but, uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. i didn't watch it till the end and i was like come on really and it's crazy because i didn't look at it like oh this is child porn or that's a no. like, that's a senile crazy it's old man creepy behavior it's Who knows? like that's a senile that's a senile man. He's you crazy. Think like you dude, think get off senile? the get off the pot, you're done. <laughs> but you think it's senile? He's like eighty years old, he's, he's losing his marble. Is he's it, not gone. Is there other evidence of him doing something similar in the past? I don't know. Maybe it's the first one it was caught on uh, on camera. I don't know. Really? Really? Well really? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's funny is that a few years ago, I think he they were he was asked like can a woman be in power or can a woman be the Dalai Lama yeah. he said yes but she has to be very pretty <laughs> oh okay that's a nice little joke <laughs> well apparently like oh you're a misogynist you know really the LGBTQ <laughs> went after him and they're like what I don't know why they're doing this yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they <laughs> stole that like, even from black people like what <laughs> you know yeah. anyways oh my god so uh, you know he's been controversial in the past few years it's funny you know he's on Twitter you can follow oh, yeah. Dalai Lama. But isn't it like his uh, yeah, yeah. grandson or something? Or it's probably people who, who adopted believe he is. That, that little boy that but sucked his tongue. <laughs> he's like, hashtag. <laughs> Me likey. <laughs> wow. it's just, I'm like, it's crazy. The feeling that I got wasn't of, uh, like, that's a pedophile. I'm like, that's a crazy. Yeah, like, I just think it's just. He doesn't understand how yeah. life, you know, maybe it was a trick. <laughs> maybe, you know, you know what they say that if you, <laughs> this is so wrong. If you got as a child yeah. you end up being a yeah but him it's like in a different life maybe he was <laughs> yeah 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 maybe he <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe he was a fly that got molested by another fly yeah, exactly. and then became like a toad <laughs> like a frog that got the molested question is, now what will be his next year incarnation oh because clearly he's not perfect right yeah yeah it's like a because apparently that you become the Dalai Lama because you after yeah. uh, thousands or millions of reincarnations you finally attain the perfect form you're yeah. like the you know the last he's the perfect form i think so i think that's what if i remember does he even have abs would, <laughs> apparently you don't need that but he does work out oh okay he does do exercise like old man exercises like maybe he re- what i do at the gym he keeps his pants down when he, <laughs> when he talks to his friend maybe he'll be reincarnated like to ammo with like a long tongue <laughs> that likes to lick or like a lemur what are you anteater yeah an anteater yeah i was thinking i couldn't think of the name yeah. maybe that's maybe before in the previous life he was yeah. an anteater anteater and now he's just going senile so he's remembering his past lives and he's like oh yeah suck on my tongue but then like what's the uh what's the answer to getting not old people to be in positions of power right you should just because joe biden is yeah, old exactly and but joe biden has trump like, is yeah. old and insane yeah then everyone's like well ron DeSantis, like well he's too young and egotistical you know yeah he needs to like get his ass kicked who Ron DeSantis. I I don't the the, the yeah. governor yeah. of Florida or whatever. Is he hot? He's all right. Americans he... judge choose their presidents. They can come. Can I? Do you want to hang out with him? This guy probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can hang or out. with Or is he a father figure or like a grandfather figure? Yeah. So people love DeSantis because he like didn't shut down Florida during COVID and he was like he's a bad boy. He's a cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. He was. He's, they're all nerds though. They're all nerds. They put on like like you know like Bush. They put on a cowboy yeah. hat, but really he had like well a Bush limp. apparently wasn't a nerd. He was like a badass. Yeah, wild but like, boy yeah. did cocaine. But when you're horse. old, I guess he wasn't that old back in 2000. No, 23 years ago. No, he was. He's like probably like 50. 50. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's oh, a good age bad. to be a president. Yeah. You know? How old was Obama? I would say also, 40s. I think he was one of the youngest to be president. So like maybe. I can't believe minutes. we go from an, a young guy mm-hmm. that is uh, that 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 like wasn't Obama like anti uh, what the fuck they called gay marriage and shit, and then he became pro gay marriage. 
I and think he was like, let's not talk about it. Uh, yeah, it was yeah, about yeah. The, the army. He's like, just, you know, don't talk yeah. about it. But we go from a young guy mm-hmm. to an old guy. And then now what's the next thing? How much older do we get? Like, Well, it just shows that you don't, there's <laughs> the, the whole conspiracy theory is just that there's, you know, Bill Hicks jokes about uh, you have a Republican yeah. president and then you have a Democrat yeah, yeah, president. Yeah, it's, all, it's all the and same. And then you look up and the guy controlling the strings is the same person. Yeah. So, Coincidentally, that same guy probably takes off Passover, so. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of <laughs> Really? <laughs> We're Gabe <laughs> Shows his true racist colors I don't know how much of this you're going to keep in the pot We'll see Ah, oh, It's fine, it's all, we're all I think we're joking We're joking <laughs> uh-huh. I think so Ha ha um, um, So yeah no. just, It just made me Like I was stupefied How stupid I'm like, come on man You're done Yeah, I think you get one incident like that And then if you look back on his Twitter account And you see like him posting Got my tongue sucked today. <laughs> You're like, oh, Rich, you actively canceled. <laughs> but, uh, Dali- no, no, his, his, his whole Twitter is all about like this is how you know sharing uh, Lex Friedman clips and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Huberman, He's look po- into the sun. <laughs> exactly, tan your asshole. Or whatever. <laughs> uh, Do cold plunges. <laughs> yeah, did did the Dalai <laughs> so, so the. The maybe the Dalai Lama was like joking with the kid, maybe because uh, was there a mic on him being like well, saying, probably suck he my was tongue? joking with the kid. Was he like stick out your tongue? Gabe, it's fun. Gabe, mm. Probably he was joking with yeah. the kid. I, I, I again, I'm not his lawyer. I'm not his PR team. I don't think he's a wait. You have a yeah. I'm Very not part of his face. PR team, so I don't know what he was doing. Mm-hmm. But uh, like, I, sorry, I don't know. But, well, I not, I'm not trying to defend him. Yeah. But I'm trying to say is that. I don't think I didn't see it as something sexual. Again, no. I didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah. But it was so like, dude, you're, that's it. You're old. You're old. You're old. This is the the, the yeah. world is over for you. It's like yeah, a Joe Biden who like, likes to sniff the heads yeah, of little girls. Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah. You're done. You're done. Yeah. It's over. Go. You're old. This this world isn't for you. Go euthanize yeah. yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the new hot guy with a, like a piercing, uh, you know, yeah. like an ear piercing. Fucking, he's the new. It's funny. These all these old people they get old and Where like slow. Old? But Trump. Yeah. Dude, I hear this guy last week. He's Fucking amazing still. He's still like fucking insane. Adderall, baby. <laughs> he's like insane in, in the yeah. zone and he's so old and crazy. Well, bec- you think he's in the zone because he's always on that tack. Yeah. Maybe that's why you think he's in the zone. I mean, I could listen to him all day. Like, he fucking cracks me Dude, up, man. Every time I talk to you, <laughs> really? like the Jews control the media. I can listen to Trump all day. You can't, I, can I used to all. mock my Mexican friend. I'm like, what are you... <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, Gabriel Omasi? Are you going to be the downfall of Bunui? <laughs> no, people are going to identify with my true uh, life. <laughs> no, but whatever. Like, Trump's uh, all right. But uh, <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't care. Not a fan. I don't care. I'm trying to find out that there's a guy called Pierre Olivieri. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it Olivier? Yeah, Pierre Olivier. Pierre, Pierre Olivier? Yeah. Apparently he's like the the the. the, the he's yeah. not. He's lame. He's, he's lame. so lame. He's he like new glasses. He looks like a fucking like nerd. You know, like those Quebecois people that are like really, they're very efficient with everything. Kind of like Guillaume. <laughs> everything he does is very efficient. You know, he's like I have my uh, my satchel filled with my vitamins and I have like a little. Uh, Tupperware with my lunch. Like he looks like that. Like, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, we're guys are like, where are my keys? Where's the car? Where did I park the car? Oh God! Yeah, but I don't like Trudeau either. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's also kind of like one of those yeah. guys. Like, I. But he has his mom packing for him. You know, who's Trudeau? Oh, Trudeau. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has his. <laughs> yeah, he looks like the guy. <laughs> women have always loved him. Yeah. From his mom, because his dad never really cared about no. him. His dad was uh, yeah. running around. Fucking girls all around being the prime minister of canada back uh-huh. when there was no technology yeah so his mom probably raised them and he was a cute boy so yeah. girls like them then he became a teacher yeah and when you're a teacher girls like you you just girls really? like you of course yeah because you have oh, a girls of like in uh like his students or whatever students. of course and he was a handsome guy yeah do you think like, i never liked my teachers anytime i had a teacher you're i'm a always, guy, I'm always like how do i get this guy how do i kill him like how do i get because you didn't want to fuck <laughs> yeah, I guess it's true. You know what I mean, but girls when they see like a hand, I remember when I was young, we had like a couple of handsome teachers, and all the girls they would fawn over, like, oh, so cute, really. You know? And he was like, ah, oh, get out of here. Like he, they enjoyed the attention. They never, uh, hopefully, they never acted on it. Wow. But he always, because he's very handsome and he's like kind, like, kinda. You know, he's like, mm, and he listens. And, mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but he's a psycho. He fucking, it's oh. great, you know. So yeah, it's all politics, all bullshit. The world is crap. Yeah. Buy a mug. <laughs> yeah, buy a mug. Buy a mug. <laughs> buy a mug and uh, vote uh, Pierre Olivier. 
<laughs> no, that guy. They, I know a few people who support him, Pierre Olivier. Because he's got a YouTube channel. And, and he does? Yeah, and his YouTube channel has a lot of followers now. Really? And he's this nerd that uses his camera phone. He's like, I'm reporting from my desk. Hello. The weather currently, it's uh, overcast. And then he goes politics like uh, it's. Well, I think I, I saw I, I did this one speech once about free speech. I'm like, okay, that was interesting. That's the only thing that I listened to. The only time I ever heard him talk was mm-hmm. about like a little speech about free speech. Yeah, that's interesting. He appeals to the men, yeah, who are still like men. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah I'm a cowboy, but like men, men. Yeah. And Trudeau appears appeals to people who are broke. Yeah, broke immigrants. Because he just gives giving money, and uh, he appeals to women. Yeah, because he's handsome, and he does not appeal to like Alberta men. You know what I mean by Alberta mm-hmm. men? Yeah, uh, like a man who knows how to, you know, change oil of his car. Yeah, I think it doesn't. Uh, look at Trudeau. And look, look at this. Beep. <laughs> it's funny. Canada is so big that there's so. It's not that the culture is different, yeah. but like so many different things appeal. Let's say in Alberta, like a guy that rides that rides like a, a horse and yeah. he has a cowboy. People are like, I'll vote for that guy. Yeah. Right? Or in Vancouver, a guy like smokes weed and he's <laughs> cool. And in Toronto, a guy with a nice suit. And then in Quebec, I imagine like a guy like a guy driving one of those three it's wheel. Like mo- a- but yeah, but like he drives like those three wheel <laughs> motorcycles. Like like OSD, oh, there's my guy. <laughs> you know. But it's all shades of white, yeah. and that's all why shades. you need like a cool brown guy. But then we had one, and yeah, he wasn't like. What's good. his name? Amar Singh. No. Yeah. What's the name of that? <laughs> Jagmeet? Jagmeet. Jagmeet. Well, here's the thing. I have a feeling Jagmeet will never be prime minister. No. But he'll always be the uh, official opposition. Yeah. Because people are just like, look, we're not racist. No. The official opposition. Look, it's a yeah. brown. Like, it's very brown. It's not a weird. But he's like super. Yeah. He's got the hair and the fucking hat. Yeah, he's handsome too, by the way. He's handsome. He's I a, saw his a, hair down. He looked. He looks like Jason Momoa. This mm-hmm. guy. He looks mm-hmm. really cool. Yeah, he looks hot. Yeah, cool. But he's always gonna be. I don't think it will ever be. Uh, no. Because it's like it shows. Like, look, we're not racist. Look at that. The opposition. Yeah. He's yeah, yeah, he's yeah. brown. What more do you want? Jordan Peterson should run for office. Or off, is off? Is that the right word for the chair? For, for the chair? Yeah, I think he for was the canoe. Off. <laughs> yeah, for the canoe. For the moose. <laughs> the moose. You sit on the moose. The moose saddle. <laughs> uh, I don't know. For the man. moon. I don't know. I, I so every time I open Twitter, I'm like, the world is garbage. Yeah. Everything is everyone. I'm mm. like, oh yeah, yeah, what's happening? But then I go outside and I see a guy with his pants down at the gym. I'm like, the world yeah, is great. Yeah, yeah. You understand how lo- how many thousands of years it took for a man. To have a conversation with another man uh-huh. with his pants down and be okay with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like it, m- it must take forever. 200 years ago. Because it's very vulnerable. It's very vulnerable. And he's like, eh, so today yeah. I'm going to work on my triceps. How it's about crazy. you? I'm reading this book. I, I, we mentioned on the last part. I was reading this book called Blood Meridian. And it's not really even a book or a story. It's like a. Imagine you take a camera and you place it like. 200 years ago during on the border of Mexico and, and Texas or whatever and it's just savages just beating the shit out of each other for no reason yeah. just because they're they have so much just murderous hate in their heart yeah. it's that's all and that's almost everybody oh, man, and, and everyone's so all fun. dusty and there's yeah. nowhere to sleep ever and yeah. people just sleep yeah. outside with no fire and they wake up and they're but they're, then they get to kill I know, but then if you even if you break your leg, that's it. people. If you're in the middle of the desert, it's like, okay, you want, do you want the, do you want me city. to kill you, or yeah. do you want to kill yourself, yeah. or do you want to wait for someone to kill you, yeah. or do you want? Yeah, dude, there's one of the most amazing scenes in the book. There's a, there's a couple. Maybe I'll, I'll only I'll only say, but like just it was such a quick little thing where like they're riding the horses. This is early in the book, and a bear comes and just takes a guy, and they follow the bear tracks for days. And there's blood oh, for God. days, and then it just disappears. Yeah, he, and they're he, like, "Okay, we got to go back now." <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> and then at that point, they figured, like, let's just if someone gets hurt, we just that's, kill them. Like, yeah. what's the point? Of, another scene. Um, they're being chased by all these Apache Indians and shit. Yeah. And there's this a character called the Judge, and he's like seven feet tall. He's like shredded. He he, he in my head, he's described exactly like. Um, Kyle Morin, but if he was like giant and ripped, no hair, he's got an egg head, he's like just giant walking around, he's always naked. <laughs> and and he uh he, they run out of gunpowder to like kill the Apache Indians and shit. So like this guy, he's like a his name is the judge, and nobody knows what type of yeah. judge he is, but he's like a genius. He knows like 10 languages and he's been all over the world and he's like gathering this material. They go 
coincidentally they're nearby like a volcano they get all this volcanic rock and he's crushing them as they're being chased and oh, like then so he's on the horse as he's like crushing all this shit in a mortar and pestle and then he starts pissing in it and then he's like everybody piss god damn it piss for your fucking lives and they're pissing in it and they're he's mixing it he's like spitting in it he's crushing he's like, and then he like puts it in like with the rocks and then it's like a he has like gunpowder oh. and he starts and they're like right there and they start like fucking slaughtering these indians and they're falling in the lava and Whoa. dude it's like oh my god it's so insane but it's not described the way i told it it, it makes way more sense because i told what happened this is the way they write it it's like you don't need it's like it, it, I don't know. It, it feels like it's all symbolic, and it's like you make me okay. That's the next book I'm gonna read. Once yeah, I'm done it's with my, uh, so ridiculous. I heard it's one of the best books in the English it, language. It's good, but it's like imagine there's no characters you can attach yourself to. There's no. You don't know. You told me there's a few. There's a bald guy who likes to murder people. I'm like, eh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but it's like there's no. You know, there's like a narrator user in yeah. a book. This is like. There's no dialogue for like a hundred pages. It's okay. And it's like just uh, s- scenery and the. Blood and everything's blood and it's cool. the heads are big It's gonna be great spots. listening to this on the elliptical. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, it's right. no, it's a cool book. Yeah, but it's uh, oh my god, that that scene was awesome. It felt like I was listening to like Wild Wild West, like Lord of the Rings. You nice. Know? Oh, that's so. It, it felt like the orcs and the fucking, but it's like all men with all naked with like balls and it. But they're cowboys. Like, what are they? They're, they're uh, Spanish. It's a gang. It's a gang, American gang that was uh, hired by this um, political figure to just murder Native Americans. Okay, so it's based on a true story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they yeah. just, and then at a certain point, they just decide to murder everything they see instead. Damn, man. And they started murdering the people that hired them to do it, Whoa. and then being like, "Here you go. Here, here's some scalps." And they're like, "Oh, that, they recognize his head." <laughs> it's a lot of that. It's really. You know they used to do that. Yeah. That's, like they used to scalp. Yeah. Like I killed an Indian. Like let's say like a guy yeah. they, that rode with him died. They would just scalp him. That's hundred yeah, bucks right there. Bucks right there. Yeah. Why not? It's fucking insane. Would you do that to me? No. Are you Why kidding? not? Not much, not much to grab. Sorry. Hundred <laughs> bucks. Hundred bucks back then. Maybe like ten thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Good. Yeah, no. I know. Good. Are you sure? Like you would say no, but. Claire would be like, well, we need a down payment for the house. <laughs> no, Why not, didn't you scalp the you're animal? Not, you're not lying. We need a down payment for the house. Who's going to feed the baby? <laughs> scalp oh him. Oh, my God. Should I? Yeah, Should please I? scalp me. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Fuck, I ask. Do whatever you want. Once I'm dead, I'm dead. I don't mind. Oh, don't. okay. I thought you meant I had to kill you. No, to please don't kill me. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to. Please don't. Come on, man. Don't worry. I'm not going to. Come on, bro. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm listening to that book and I'm like, I haven't listened to podcasts in forever, but yeah. listening to that book, I'm like, I need to listen to Tuesdays with stories because it's like, <laughs> I need, need something <laughs> fun. It's like the most hard thing I've ever yeah? read. Yeah, yeah, Damn. I'm Damn, like, oh. every time I listen, I'm like, it's almost like I'm punishing myself. Really? It's so... It's knowledge going in your it's head. It's so dense. But there's no knowledge. It's just like... Well, no, think, but you're listening think, to pros. Of, you're listening yeah, to... Yeah, it's really cool. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You're listening to... You're visual. You're playing a movie in your yeah. mind that doesn't exist. Even the first word, like it's like the ultimate VR. Yeah, it's not like you know, like in a book where it's like J- uh, J- uh, Jamie woke up this morning and made himself a cup of tea, looked out the window and saw a vista of cows and turkeys. It's not. It's like see here the image of a boy sleeping, twitching. His mother abandoning <laughs> it's like that i'm like what the fuck am i listening to great. <laughs> you know, the fact that something goes, has that effect yeah. on you isn't it yeah. amazing that's ah oh, dude enjoy it yeah, i yeah. can't wait to fucking, yeah, yeah check it out i'll, I s- I'll send you the link so i started like thinking about vr you know and uh I the fact that it's not popular i, saw, I just saw that meta fired like ten thousand people yeah and here's the thing here's the problem with vr and what happened is that we made uh we made phones so good Mm-hmm. And we're all addicted to our phones now. Mm-hmm. Then we made phones so good, so to transfer to another level of technology, yeah. it has to be better than our phones. Yeah, way better. Like I don't know if you remember, but I remember having a home phone that uh-huh. is wireless, and the second there was a wall, <laughs> you couldn't hear anything. Yeah. So when cell phones came, you're like, oh, phones are garbage. Like I'm just gonna use yeah. the cell phone. Like cancel my landline. It yeah. was better right away. Yeah, right away. And I think this is the problem. That's why I don't know if you've ever been to the VR. Like I've I've been in VR and I was sitting there, and I was like, 
Man, I want to look at my phone. Like I, I look down. <laughs> then I realized that's why you know in VR they don't have legs. Yeah. Because they don't want you to have pockets to put your phone that's in. That's funny. <laughs> that's know? funny. If they were smart, they would make you but, VR. But you understand? Yeah. I was in VR. I was in a virtual world, and I still wanted to go on my phone yeah. to look at Instagram. That's oh, how that's much funny. big yeah, booty yeah. bitches <laughs> v- <yeah. laughs> that's control. What you really need every. <laughs> But it's, it shows that whatever universe you are, you're gonna try to go to another universe. Yeah, yeah. I think VR is missing the the point of VR. Like, it they're trying to make it like a social media platform, or like a place where you live in, yeah. rather than it's meant for you should appeal to fucking gamers, bro. No, like, no, 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 no. You don't think? Here's what's how. Here's how VR is gonna be popular, and I guarantee you, here's what's gonna happen. Rent is gonna continue to go up and up and up and up, and no one's gonna be able to afford a house. And one day, the only thing you'll be able to afford will be this. Uh, this this will be the only thing you can afford. Mm-hmm. This this room, this, room. this like uh, two meter by two meter, and it's mm-hmm. gonna be like two thousand dollars a day or whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're like, okay, well, I can't go anywhere. So this is when VR will be become something worth it. Because yeah, I don't know. Because if you can't go anywhere, first of all, they're like, oh, you can't drive anymore because of pollution. So the poor people are going to have less luxuries and the rich people are going to have more luxuries. So, yeah, you can't – oh, you can't eat meat? What, are you crazy? You know how, how much methane the cows yeah, eat? No, no, okay. eat this paste of insect. But <laughs> while you're eating this paste of insect, you can put on your VR and when you look down, are you going to yeah, see a beautiful see. steak? And this is when VR mm-hmm. – when VR is going to lie properly mm-hmm. – make the world so much better then everyone's gonna plug in the vr right now the yeah. world is not as shit as it needs to be yeah i don't know uh, uh, yeah maybe it could be everything we use the, these phones everything is escapism well they need to make it like for that to work they need the battery to last longer than an hour you yeah, know that's that's not even an issue don't yeah, worry yeah. about it don't that's maybe. that's that's the least of their issue yeah, their yeah. issue now is to make it addictive it's not yeah, addictive no, 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 yet no, no. because the world is still not shit yeah we need the, the, the people who think? control the yeah. world need to like really crack down all right no more meat for anyone and uh, you're not allowed to own a house you're not allowed to own a car and we're getting there motherfucker. Yeah. we're getting there yeah you know once all that is implemented and Jeez. you cannot say a word and then bam oh, vr is going to be the best thing ever everyone's going to plug oh, in the man. matrix i hope not i i don't know really w- what type of guy would you be neo or would you be like guy was like you know what just make me rich in the matrix i know it's fake but i prefer to be rich and happy and getting blowjobs from models in the matrix oh, remember, yeah, yeah. And, uh, or be like free and you know have <laughs> hemorrhoids <laughs> i don't know uh it'd be hard because i'd probably be the guy that i'd be like the extra like in the movie where like just got walking on the street no, but i'm asking you but what you would, would you, choose? Oh, okay. you have to choose <laughs> i have to choose yeah i don't know man yeah would you be what's like, the real world real world is like metal the real world is you know where your body aches after you go to the gym yeah. and then your girlfriend's like bah, 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 and then the whole your car breaks down and you have to change the oil but then the fake and, world and the fake world you're just a uh, you're a baller you're jay-z you're getting but your why is that up. the fake world because that's how they'll get you Oh, but then what the hell? What's his real world? Everyone just annoying? After you're eating a bowl of <laughs> insect. It's a gray. But if I'm in the fake world, my girlfriend is not annoying anymore? No. It's a fake world. What happened to the girlfriend? You have four of them. <laughs> in the fake world? Yeah. But isn't it but a helmet? Wait, wait, wait. Do you remember the movie I'm asking about? Uh, yeah, but you you're got it totally wrong. The guy yeah. wanted to go in the Matrix yes. to eat nice food on yeah. the sh- And the real world... is garbage. Is It's not like your girlfriend yelling at you. You're like living in like a cave the end right? of the world. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. like... <laughs> And then the buildings all fell. Well, that's the end of the my world. <laughs> <laughs> Having a girlfriend tell me what to do. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. To it's so, I was like, what the? Like, it's like almost sounds like the same thing to him. Like, but you understand, like yeah, the yeah. VR is just the first step. Yeah. Once they get you, once they got us addicted to Nokia with Snake. Yeah. I used to spend an hour taking a shit Damn. playing Snake. You understand? Yeah. Once they got us with Snake, and it was pixels, bro. Yeah. Once they got us with Snake, but the, the, they don't have Snake yet. Well, yeah, no, they don't have the the software no. like that's good enough no, to. The phones are too good. Yeah, or even, dude, kids are obsessed with fucking games and shit, right? They fucking love them. That's all they do. Yeah. They play fucking Fortnite and Apex Legends and shit. However, There's none of that. But uh, the thing is, with games, is that you can still see around. You know, you're, let's say you're playing on your phone, you can still see. Yeah. It's flu, but you can still like flu. It's like a, anyways, you, you can still see around. Yeah. When you put the thing, it's too much. It's, too, it's not good enough. I'm telling no. you, it needs to be a necessity. Yeah, yeah. it needs it's to be It's not great. a necessity yet. You need to put on VR and then everything is better. But to make 
How can I say this? For it to look better, everything around you has to be shit. Mm. And the only way it seems to be shit is that A, you have to be in a prison. Your apartment has to be so small that you yeah. can't do anything. You you cannot afford you to You can't even a, leave? I mean, you can leave, but you can't have a put car. The, put this pollution. It's a 15-minute city now. You know what I mean? It's a 15-minute city? Never what does heard? that mean? It's less, like that's, that's a term that uh, conspiracy theorists are uh, starting around. Like, to cut on pollution, uh, you shouldn't have a car, uh-huh. and you should keep your travels within 15 minutes of where you live. Okay, but like... Like, do your groceries within 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, your People job. do that anyway, though. Mm. Where do you do your groceries? I, I just get it. <laughs> yeah, my house. you're a zero minute city. I'm, I'm, no, but I go out only for comedy. Yeah, 15 minutes yeah, away. Yeah, but like Friday, I'm going to Ottawa. Okay. You yeah. know, I want to do the road. I travel. We're going to Paris. Like, yeah. it's great. You it's know? It's true. So none of that's going to exist. None of that. No. What? Why? Because pollution. Because only rich people oh, are man. supposed to have the luxuries. Remember what I told you last time about every generation loses the luxury of the past? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, your grandma used to have a table made of yeah. oak wood that mm-hmm. lasted like 200 years and it was yeah. beautiful mm-hmm. and everyone loved it. But now the only thing you can afford is a shitty piece of Ikea made with glue mm. and children's skin or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's going to be... You, you weren't richer than your grandma. Your grandma and you are the same level of richness, wow. you would say. But she could afford a table made of wood. But no, who can afford a table made of perfect wood? Um, Fucking, uh, you know, it's a $10,000 table if you want to buy the same quality wood. Damn. That's what's happening. Of course. Of course. It's too bad. And I see it because I buy the same thing over and over uh-huh. again. And it's getting worse. And like you see the sweater. Like remember the mugs? They yeah. were they were more faded the, the, than the next, yeah, the next I, one. Yeah, and like in two years it's gonna be just a, a broken <laughs> It's gonna be like a really small <laughs> jagged edges. Right, we're gonna buy a mug, it's gonna look like it's gonna be a shock. Like I I buy, <laughs> I buy the sweater, right? And I've been buying the same sweater. I have uh-huh. tens of them. Every time I see a little blemish, I'm like, bye bye, you're a home sweater now. Oh, okay. And even the quality of my sweater slowly goes down, you know? It's Damn. not the same. Of course, that you're maximizing profit. Mm-hmm. How are you going to maximize profit? you got to cut down on the quality. It's annoying. That's it. So you, you either fight the system, yeah. which I'm not going to do, uh-huh. or you join the system, which I might do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably I'm joined. Um, buy a mug. Buy a <laughs> mug. <laughs> buy a mug, everybody. When, uh, you know, okay, after the live podcast, yeah. I remember like you went to the show or whatever, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to go. It was fucking cold as shit. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I can't go for a walk. It's like fucking snowing. I was like <laughs> yeah. freezing. So... I uh, was walking down St. Catherine and I was listening to like Blood Meridian. I was all like depressed or whatever, like getting like murdered in my head. And then I uh, saw the movie theater and I was looking at the movies. I'm like, I haven't been in the movies in like 10 years. Motherfucker, what did you watch? I was looking. There's like, oh, John Wick, that looks cool. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons. I know I hear exactly that's what you're going to say. Can I guess what you're going to say? <laughs> yeah. Is it going to be the new vampire movie with Nicolas Cage? No, I went to, oh, go, I went to see Mario. Mario? <laughs> Because I was like, I don't want to see one movie was like three hours long. Yeah. John Wick is like two and a half hours. The Mario movie, it's like an hour and 15 minutes. I'm yeah. like, hey, Man, that's all I need. Gabe would do just to not hang out with me. Because I kept like, bro, just come hang out with me. Come to the show. Maybe they'll throw you on. Just can hang out with me. He's like, no, nah, no. Nah. Nah, I want to I wanna, I wanna, I wanna listen to my book. I just love. And- I don't know, dude. I fucking love Damn. being alone. I think you just don't like being with me. <laughs> no, I love being alone, dude. Like it, it's great. No, yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's like so nice. So, and how was the Mario movie? Tell me. Okay, so it uh, you know Mario. You play Mario? Yeah. Sometimes you know when and I'm in like uh, you know life life usually I'm like da da yeah 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 and then sometimes like oh. <laughs> like and then you win and you get home put the keys in the house that's boat. amazing no I, do I have that some too. moments yeah, of yeah, life yeah, yeah. Are... <laughs> anyways yeah sorry go ahead oh man so it was pretty cool so Mario you're never gonna watch it no <laughs> yeah you're never gonna no. watch it. I'm never gonna watch it I don't even remember it so <laughs> so the movie let's see, let's see. Is it gonna I be... went to see it sober like <laughs> that's how lame I am I went to see people would like you could see stoners be like yo man see Mario I was like one for Mario <laughs> and I'm like not even food I didn't even get anything I just and then because it was starting right then I was yeah. like fuck so I said it's all like little kids and, <laughs> and, like, and you were like <laughs> stick out my tongue one Dalai second. Lama <laughs> And any time, like, there would be kids all around. They're like, Mario, Mario. And any time Mario would come on the screen, they'd be like, it's Mario. Look. 
look, it's Mario. And I'm like, that's really cute. And then they would get off the screen and they all be like, where's Mario? Where's <laughs> Mario? I'm like, okay. And then uh, it was just like Mario and his brother Luigi. Yeah. They're just, they, they're New Yorkers, you know? Yeah. They don't live in the, Mar- the, the kingdom yet. Oh. So they're just like losers. Open micers. Yeah, they're basically <laughs> losers and everyone hates them and for some reason and everyone makes fun of them. And then they get sucked into the Mario world and they're all jumping around is and it shit. The, is it a comic? Like, is it a cartoon or is it like. It's like 3D. It's like, like Pixar. Okay, it's not like two people. No, no, no. Okay, no. Okay. It's funny. A lot of people ask me that. Like, no one has seen the, 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 the trailer for this? No. I have an ad blocker on my YouTube. Okay, yeah. I shouldn't say that. No, I don't have an ad. <laughs> YouTube, make money with us. <laughs> Dude, it was. Uh, Pretty, it was pretty gay, and uh, okay, it was for kids, right? Yeah. This whole movie, I thought it was gonna be, you know, like Shrek is funny. Yeah. Have you seen Shrek? Yeah. It's funny. There's some funny jokes. Yeah, you, I love like, it. Like I feel like you could like I could yeah. laugh. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of it's, it's two kinda, comics. Yeah. You yeah. The Eddie Murphy. Exactly. And, uh, the other guy, yeah. But this is That's like it's like for kids. It's like the Avengers. They're all like fighting. It's so violent, and mm. there's always, but it's always like. Uh, Everyone is referring to death like, I'm going to kill you, Mario. Mario, I'm going to murder you, Mario. I'm like, is it for kids or is it not for kids? Because you can't be both. Because yeah. at one point you're like, this is so lame. And some points it's like there's this character that makes these jokes about death. And maybe I'm too sensitive, you know? Like I, I was a watching, child movie. <laughs> I was watching it from the perspective of a child. I'm like, okay, this movie is mm-hmm. obviously made for seven-year-olds. Yeah. But there's a character that's locked in a cage and all her jokes are like, I cannot wait for the sweet sweet release of death jesus christ <laughs> and it's like everyone and all the um, there's all these other characters that are all locked up to being like oh what the hell is wrong with you and then there's one like they're falling into lava at one point and he's like finally i'm going to i'm going to l- slip away to happiness and it's like this is fucking weird like it's i don't know way too much yeah. for children way movie. too much anyway don't want don't bring your kids to this movie god damn but uh, it was good <laughs> it was good i mean it was donkey kong but does he get the princess who yeah. Oh, Jack Black. Jack Black plays the prince Bowser. Oh, okay. And he's fucking great at it. Yeah. Like he he sing. You know, like Jack Black in every movie, he's like he does that in there too oh, as yeah. Bowser, and it's, okay. it's funny. Damn, I could see him as Bowser. And uh, does who gets the princess, Mario or Luigi? So in the movie, the yeah. princess is like a badass karate bitch or whatever. Uh, uh, so they're all like friends. Uh, Nobody. They, they woke. They woke yeah, a Mario? little bit. Because in the video games, remember the old video games? You could play as Peach. No, dude. I I, I, I used to play before that. I, I played Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Peach was just a princess. No, there's Mario 1. There's Mario. There's Mario. There's the first Mario. Mario. It's like the princess. Super is, Mario, yeah. Then there's the... Mario, Mario Bros. You know, Mario. you know, like where they're like, the princess is another castle, right? Yeah. The one after that, you could play as Mario, Luigi, Toad, or Peach. Oh, uh, so that was after me. Okay. Well, that was still Nintendo. Okay, it was okay. still like very old. And so like... Mario had, didn't have any superpowers. Luigi could jump a little higher. Toad was fast, and Peach could fly. Ooh. And this is like, oh, this is like '88, I think, when this no, game. No, mm-hmm. no, no, that's in the '90s. No, 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 no. there's some possible. It's '88, dude. I'm but telling 88, you, '88 was Super Nintendo. That was like, was it Super Nintendo? No, or was it it's Nintendo 64? N- Nintendo. Because it was Nintendo, Nintendo, then there was Super, Super Nintendo, because Nintendo this, 64. Because Super Mario came out on uh, Nintendo. Super Mario World came on Su- Super Nintendo, okay, yeah, and I then Mario Brothers One was the first first one where you're like, and then there's one after that that wasn't as popular. It was kind of like a fucking weird one. It had no other characters from other Mario games. Mm-hmm. It was like, no, it it was really good, but it was like a weird. Mar- it, it didn't feel like Mario at all. But it was Mario 1, then Mario 2, and then Mario 3 was the one on Super Nintendo, and then mm-hmm. there was Mario 64. But, but between that, there's Yoshi's World. Okay. But uh, yeah, Yoshi. Yeah, yeah. I always like Yoshi. I love – they don't show Yoshi. They show Yoshi for like a second, and he's uh, – Racist. Yeah, he's racist. I don't know why, but in my mind, you know the guy who invented Nintendo? Yeah. Uh, the Mario? Yeah, Mutu- he's, M- 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 Yeah, he's Takahashi. the one who invented Bitcoin. I don't know why. In yeah, my yeah, mind, yeah, Satoshi or whatever. It's the same like, guy. <laughs> I was trying to figure out – yeah. But like he invented Super Mario, and then he's like, "I'm gonna invent a new way to cripple the banks." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in my mind. Anyway, mm. bad review. This is review is gonna come out two weeks after the movie came out. So, no. <laughs> you know which uh, which movie I really want to see? You know how much I love vampires. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The Nicolas Cage I, one. That dude, I can't wait. It looks good, wait. huh? Apparently, Nicolas it's fucking Cage. funny. Cage. Vampire, dude, that's like you and yeah, me yeah, combined. I know, I, know. I know how much you love Nicolas Cage. Yeah, I love Nicolas Cage. You know how much I love. Uh, you you want to go see it? I would love to go. Let's see go it. see it.
fucking. Apparently, Nick Cage did this movie, and he said like it wasn't Dracula enough for me, and now yeah. he wants to make a Dracula movie that's only just Dracula. I don't like. Hey, there's another guy in the movie. Yeah. There's there's Dracula. Uh. Sorry, and then there's um his friend. And so it's not just a Dracula movie. It's like about a guy that works for Dracula. So it's like kind of like a buddy comedy. Listen, I, what's the name of that show, Vampires? And uh, it was about, like, it was funny. Like you, have a, you had an energy of vampire. It's like Australian Oh, or New yeah, in the shadows or in something. In the shadows, exactly. So I enjoyed it. It's pretty I funny. I enjoyed it because it was like a comedy. Yeah. But I like my vampires to be creepy. Yeah. And like just murder. He wants to kill. do like a serious yes, one. Yes, that's what I want. Where it's like, like a Bram Stoker. <laughs> like an angry, like se- yeah. seething yeah, Dracula. Yeah. That's, that's, that was that's like. What I, that's because I saw it quickly the preview. Yeah. Like, oh, it looks it's like too a comedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want it to just be. I want it just dark and like Bram yeah. Stoker style. Yeah. You know? Or like a. You know yeah. the guy that looks like me but with long nails? Yeah, Nosferatu. Like, Nosferatu. I, that that the, movie's coming out, though. The 30s. You know the, the 30s? Yeah, they're like the, really like... The first... The first... The, yeah, oh, that man. Like, that was like... Oh, man. It was, the guy was just bald. You know, there was no... S- yeah, and he did this. <laughs> and he had like nothing. <laughs> like, ah! It's pretty and good. And girls would just scream. That's my dating yeah. line. <laughs> Let's go, hi. Ah! Okay. Okay. Speaking of Nosferatu, I did. Uh, I had these, these job interviews like like <laughs> last little while, right? <laughs> I just want to see the connection. Okay. Okay. So I did one. It's four job interviews. Jesus Christ. Four job interview. I for a job that pays forty thousand a year. That, that like look well after taxes. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Uh, so um, uh, I'm doing the first job interview. I'm there with some HR lady. Yeah. She's nice. And then the second one, I do one again with the same HR lady. The third one, I do it with. I didn't feel like in the 80s everybody had jobs. They're just giving out jobs. Okay. Like everybody had a job, it felt like. It was no, there's only one job interview. You speak to the guy and the guy's like, So what do you what do you see yourself in five years? And the guy's like, I see myself banging your wife. <laughs> you got the job. And they're fucking like I like your crystal kid. <laughs> okay. yeah, smacking hands doing co- and that this is like, oh, okay, so what's your this, what's your that? And I, I speak to the team, I do a job interview with the whole team. And then they're like, oh, great, okay. And then I do the job interview with the CEO. That's it. That should be the last one. He looks like Nosferatu. He's <laughs> in the dark. The way I'm talking about it, you know what happened. This job interview did not. This, well, anyway, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to this guy. It's, first of all, it's with this uh, this uh, uh, part of the hiring team, this lady. Yeah. She's a nice lady, very friendly. I'm talking to her. All of a sudden, I didn't expect this. The, the, the CEO just popped in. And he's like in the dark. And he's like this. He's like, oh, God. And I'm like this. And in my head, I'm like, and it looks like Nosferatu. He's all like bald and bony. And he's like, oh, God. in the dark, weird lighting. I'm like, what the fuck? And he's not saying anything. And the whole time I stopped talking, I was like in this really good zone yeah. of like talking about like where did this, where did that. And all I see is just like a head like. And I stopped talking because I'm like, who's that? <laughs> I'm like, who's that? And then he's like, oh, it's the CEO. I'm like, oh, it's CEO. And he's like, hello. <laughs> like, just pops in. I'm like, hi. And he starts asking me the weirdest fucking questions. Like, he. Do you like blood? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like blood? <laughs> Dude, I wish it was that because I could be like, no. He's like, um, he was like, uh, <laughs> he's like, um, one of the questions was, I'm trying to, it was, uh, uh, what will you uh ha, ha, what is one thing in the world you want to change and i'm like oh what i, I was like what? what did you say i was like oh there's a lot of like hate <laughs> a lot of hate in the world you know and uh i feel like like with laughter and uh, education and like i was looking at his face right and he's like oh and then i would say another thing he's like oh and then the, the cloud moved and the sun <laughs> his skin. <laughs> Close the blinds! And the lady was like, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then I won't Nosfer, <laughs> the, Mr. Dr. Nosfer Atu. <laughs> Mr. Dr. Acula. Or whatever. <laughs> uh, so at one point he made like a, a weird face, one of the things. And, and I was like, oh, oh. And I started backtracking. I was like, well, actually, maybe not that last part, you know? And I, he, he wrote like, oh, the my Wi-Fi is, is out. I'm like, oh, okay. So what? His Wi-Fi went out or whatever. His and Wi-Fi. I, okay. Wi-Fi. And I thought like he didn't like whatever. I was going. Then he comes back. So I say I hate. There's hate in the world and all this shit, and and, he, and I want that to change. And he's like, "Will you change it?" And I'm like, "Yeah, are, yeah." Are you willing to sell your soul <laughs> to be able to achieve the dreams that you want, Mister Omasi? I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, yes, I will change. I will. I'm doing everything in my power 
to add would you like to have more power <laughs> eternal power and then he's like how do you change it and i'm like i, I don't know dude what is this in my head i'm like losing my mind and then well, he's five thousand years old that's yeah, that's yeah. All he has weird questions like all this is like <laughs> would you like to suck my tongue Oh, maybe God. maybe that's the real Dracula. Yeah, it's pedophilia. Yeah, it's just pedophilia. Draculism, yeah, you know, yeah maybe. Just, <laughs> you suck my tongue, and then when you're old, <laughs> man sucks your tongue. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so how did it go? Well, I don't know. So I find out. He asked me where I see myself in five years. I say like, you know, like I want. I love editing. I love doing comedy. I love podcasting. I just, I want to just incorporate all these different things in my life somehow. You know, and that's where I see myself in five years. And Claire was like, you should have said, mentioned like something more about the company. You should have, you know, sucked his dick. Yeah, a little. Or stung. So, or stung. Yeah. <laughs> you should have sucked his tongue. And uh, it's funny. You have. I know. I have two. You have two moles that look like a baby. <laughs> yeah. Like a baby. Can I, can I touch your face? Baby, baby vampire. Like, you look like a baby vampire bit you. Yeah. <laughs> I get a call like a few days later and yeah. they say it was very close. It was between you and another guy. You didn't get it because it felt like you didn't uh, you thought like you thought of our thing as a side thing mm. or our thing just for money. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. I was like, Whoa. you should have lied. I, I, next time I'll prep you before you go. But the thing is, I did everything perfectly. Okay, this- let me let me show you yeah. how to do a job interview. Mm-hmm. This is how you job interview. Okay, first of all, you wear a suit. Uh-huh. You dress nice. You cl- fix your beard. Uh-huh. You fix your hair. Uh-huh. You look presentable. Uh-huh. And then when you meet them, more. Oh, the whole team. Oh, the CEO. <laughs> Dude, you need to stop. This is making me gag. This is the most disgusting. Those are good sound effects, though. Okay, <laughs> <And> my turn. <laughs> and, that, and that's how okay. you do an interview. So I was reading their, um, their like their, the things they stand for, right? And I feel like I fit everything. Like you know, uh, I do my own. Like I'm, I'm self motivated. I, 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 I love I'm creative. I love like. Like they they say they love that people have their own projects and shit. That's all lies. But, but I guess I I had too many slaves. of my own projects. They, imagine, dude, you try. Okay, imagine. Here's the mindset you have to. Mm-hmm. We just celebrated Passover, right? Mm-hmm. So imagine we're in Egypt. Okay, we're building the pyramids, and you have slaves. You have slaves. They're all Jewish, and you have like, okay, this slave. You know, he seems to be good at what he does. Maybe I should promote him at like a manager oh. of the slaves. Yeah. And they're like, hey, come here, slave. And then he asks the slave, like, slave. <laughs> you know, you start asking him a question. And the slave is like, well, personally, I would like to have a podcast. And, uh, you know, I see myself doing podcasts and going to doing comedy. He's like, what? I will. <laughs> You're a slave. Uh, you're 100% right. Be a slave. You're so right. Be uh, a slave or don't. I know. But choose. Yeah. Yeah. Fake being a slave. That's what I, I did know. for like 10 years before. I think I did everything right except for that. I think I was a little too honest at the end. Exactly. I was a little too honest. That's the thing. But that's the thing with vampires. You cannot lie yeah. to a vampire. He can smell yeah. through the bullshit. But it He's was so weird. It was the weirdest job interview where I was like, these questions. Like he asked me like, what's a name of a movie you don't like? And I'm like, okay. that's. I had to like think outside of my head. I'm like, think of a movie you don't like. Yeah, like you listen, as I said. Yeah. I know. That's, that's, a, that's uh, a job interview. I've been there. Oh, God. Dude, I, I just noticed. I don't want to brag. I haven't had a job interview in like 11 years. Wow. That's crazy. I never had to suck a cock. Wow. To get a fucking. Oh, man. That's the greatest. Yeah. Oh, so great. Please, guys, subscribe, <sighs> like, yeah. so I can continue. Yeah. <laughs> not. not then we'll have to give other people job interviews. Yeah. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, we could hire a few people to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, hire just people I know, rather than like hiring like a Usually, guy that has his own podcast. I, I'll handle the hiring <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I see talent in people. Like, uh, and the people I see talent in, they usually succeed. Uh-huh. You know, look around you. Look around you. The people who began with us who are successful right now. You know, I, I can. I don't even know. I, I can't even name one. Me. Sid. Oh, you know, like this yeah, kid. That, I guess that is one. You know, I see like this <laughs> kid, Harrison, like this kid. Yeah. You know, there's some people like, anyways, let, let me, let me, let me yeah. handle the. Okay. I, no, of course. I mean, I'm. Oh, I mean, if I don't you wish. Dude, whatever. Yeah. Like, but don't I, worry. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get you money. Don't worry. Oh, okay, cool. I'll go suck dick. <laughs> I'll pay Jeez. for this podcast. Well, I hope the, the guy doesn't see this because maybe he'll hire. Me. No. Oh, yeah. And then they said, listen to this. So they, oh, God, this is a little, maybe. It doesn't matter. So they they're like, oh, you didn't get the position, but 
there's this uh you could apply you don't need to apply for it. you you can go it's like this uh, uh creative accelerator program they, it's like shit pay and it's like for people who just came out of university and to to be this this because uh, they want to see oh if you do this maybe they'll see that you're I get all of that for I, a shit salary and I'm like what the fuck this is too much bro just start your own company just could start working as a contract do what I do yeah start your own company cheat uh, on your taxes life is great no I know. no but you know you know what I mean yeah, yeah. start your own I'm not say, I'm not saying cheat on your taxes because when you have start your own company a lot you of things to, become taxable you have to do I'm, I, I have to remember like this is Start getting contracts on the side. I know you don't want. There's people you told me you don't. <laughs> there's a specific group of people you don't like. No, they're giving for. me a lot of work now. So that's good. <laughs> so this, I'll, I'll get, I'll get you money. Bunny will get you money. I'll get Ooh. you money. Don't worry. I'll get you. How much you need? I don't know, but I'm, 20, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing okay. Twenty thousand? What a year? Yeah, extra. Would that be good? I don't know. I need enough to live. And How much? I'll, I'll talk to Claire. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I'll talk to Claire. I'll get you money. <laughs> But I'll, 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 I'll get you money. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Honestly, dude, fuck that company. They're so stupid because... I think I'm probably the best editor in the whole world. Yeah, you're... <laughs> great. They should have hired you. Here's the thing. They wanted they wanted something they can suck the soul of. Yeah. If the guy looked like a vampire, probably he is. Like yeah. a metaphorical vampire. He's, He's a smart guy. He, he started a YouTube yeah, channel course. from zero to like 30 million, so... Dude, if I had my own company, mm -hmm. I would... I would have a few mercenaries who are good at what they do, mm -hmm. but I would need people to suck their energy off. Yeah. You know, like give me your life, give me your soul, mm -hmm. so that I can get bigger. Yeah. Dude, Jesus, who was the son of God, had twelve followers. Wow. So imagine to have thirty million followers, you need to suck a lot of souls. You need to people to to clean Damn. the toilets. You Very need people to yeah. edit. You need people to edit twelve hours a day for you. Yeah. You're not gonna edit twelve hours a day for this fucking Nosferatu. No, maybe like five. You probably would have. Exactly. That's that's why you need to have your own company. <laughs> Yeah, I have a feeling you told him, and he's like, "What?" <laughs> no, I didn't tell him. That, you no. understand? Forty hours a week plus going. Oh, it's that's they just and this, this is, is how they get you. They like, yeah. and the thing is, usually people do that, like companies do that, but they, in my old world, they give you an amazing salary, yeah. an amazing it's retirement crazy. plan, dental insurance, yeah. everything you want. The bravado of saying, "Oh, I work. I'm an yeah. engineer. Let look at my ring." Blah blah blah. Yeah. Your chef was fucking off you like three peanuts and a slap in the face yeah, as, a, it's as crazy. a bonus. Yeah, I know. I don't understand why. It, uh, I guess I have to. You understand? Yeah. For you to sell your soul, they need to pay you way more yeah, than that. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Way more than that. Anyway, I don't. Uh, Nothing. Yeah, 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 didn't yeah, say yeah. anything. I'm the yeah, one yeah, talking yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, fuck you, Nosferatu. <laughs> Actually, I can't wait to meet you. I would love to pick your brain. <laughs> he's an interesting guy. He's he's Arabic yeah, and shit. He's Arabic too. Yeah. Oh my god, Habibi. <laughs> Ramadan Karim, let's sit down, have a chat chat with you. You know, I'll, I'll bring the Arak, we'll talk. I'll, I'll be curious to pick your brain to see how life was 5,000 years ago. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. 5,000 years ago. But you understand, he didn't pick you because he's like, I'm not enough soul to suck. Yeah. You know, you have your own dreams. You're an artist. You're a free yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't have a I free know. slave. No, he can't. He won't build a good pyramid. No, you need like a technician. Like, you basically, the guy could also... Like he's a guy that works as a. That's what you need. <laughs> Stop that! Okay, we're done the podcast. I hate that sound, dude. Man, you must girlfriend must give shitty blowjobs. <laughs> no, but you hate what that is that? sound? It makes me wretch. That it just sounds like you're puking. That's a good blow. A good blowjob. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Should sound like she's like a hair I'm away gonna, from puking. I'm gonna barf. That's so nasty. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, this was another wonderful <laughs> episode of Who Was It When We. Uh, click subscribe and like. We have a great show coming April twenty first. Uh, at Club at Water, come watch it. Mm -hmm. Lawrence Corber, Randy Comey, yeah, who's who's uh, who's uh, like people are like, ooh, Randy Comey, because he had a lot of edgy jokes, yeah, and yeah, people yeah. are like going at him. Yeah, he's like, uh, what's that word? Uh, edge Lord. No, no, what? He, he's uh, nefarious. Nosferatu. No. nefarious. No, he's like, oh, infamous. Infamous. He's like, ooh, you know, he's very funny. Who else? We have Andrew Corey. Love this man. Mm -hmm. You have this guy. You have me. Who mm -hmm. else? There's someone missing. Tom. Tom Murphy. Oh God! Just fucking come watch Tom. He's cool. hilarious. Just showcasing for cool. Just for this year. Tom he's Murphy. So cool. He's hot. He's so funny. cool. Kills. Oh my God! I can't wait. It's Such gonna be chill so fun. Guy. Buy your tickets. Subscribe. Tell your friend. This. Tell your friend and be, stay tuned because wait, will the live podcast come out before this one or after yeah, this one? Yeah, before. It's gonna come out. Okay. So, just I hope you enjoyed the live podcast. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> it was good. All right, guys. We love you. Salam alaikum. Bye. Bye.